Yes, we're going to read verse 20 together. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. Praise God. We honor the holy words of God by saying, Amen. Amen. And at this time, our dear pastor will come and give you the notices and the announcement, announcements, Pastor Gary, in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Shall we praise him one more time? Praise Let's just lift our hands and praise him again. For he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. 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 Whenever our dear Deacon Grant comes to, to moderate, I am reminded that he is one of the better looking men in this church. Amen. And so Deacon Grant, yeah man, a better looking man. And so we thank God for him again. And the fine job that he continues to do in leading us in moderating in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so let me just say welcome to everyone who have joined us here in Sanctuary this morning for worship. And those who have joined us online want to say welcome. Welcome to everyone in Jesus' name. Good to have you all with us today. And we are hoping and trusting at our time again today will be time well spent in the company of each other and the presence of Almighty God. Amen? Amen. Last week, because today is a new week, was a, a challenging time for many of us. But one of our online worshipers says to us, a pleasant or a blessed good morning worshiping with you again. And they continue the rains came pouring down floods. But nevertheless, <laughs> God was still in charge. Let us continue to praise him. Nevertheless, amen and amen. Truly, it was a challenging week for many. I saw videos from our own people here narrating their video with the flood waters all around them. The only thing that they were missing was the ark. Just the ark. But brethren, we thank God that all of us could make it out to church again this morning. To God be the glory. To God, to God, to God be the glory. It again just reminds us that as predictable and as accurate as science tries to be, they always have to factor in the possibility that God, <laughs> something different can happen. And that is why I am confident that when our Lord returns, it's going to take many people by surprise. But it's going to happen. It is going to happen. One day, Jesus is coming back. Coming back and coming back. And so again, we thank God for his, for his abundant blessings that we could gather again this morning to worship him. Amen. And so, again, to everyone, welcome, welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just a couple of things to pass on to you again for this morning. Um, we, so we continue to do as much as we can to get back to the normal way of doing things. And so we thank you for your patience and your understanding and just your encouragement as we continue. On Tuesday night, we resume our combo um, meeting of Bible study and uh, prayer meeting, and that will both be in person and virtual. And that begins at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening, the 18th. And so our first session will be straight teaching, Bible teaching in person and virtual, and uh, our second session will be that of praying, and so again, it is both, as we are saying, in person and our praying session will be either in person or by our teleconference praying, praying line. And again, the options are pretty simple. Um, get to your phones, your tablets, your computer, whatever it might be, and you dial the 425-436, wait, enter the access code and wait to join the meeting. If there's an issue of payment, no need to worry. You can get around that. Dial the second option, 
451, etc., etc., etc. Or if you're a computer savvy and phone savvy, you can use the app, download it from the Play Store or the Google or the, um, the App Store, follow all the instructions, and uh, the easiest option of all. Come to church. Easiest option. If all this dialing and dialing and dialing and dialing is a problem, you just put all the problems aside and you come to church. Amen? And so we invite you to join us on Tuesday night, the 18th, for our Bible study and our prayer, prayer meeting. Our con um, again, next Sunday, we meet for our Sunday services. Again, um, here in the sanctuary, um, at 11.05 and virtual Fort Lauderdale, 10.30 and Northwest at 11. Um, also, as you know by now, our convention is, is quickly approaching, quickly approaching, and that again will be on the last Sunday, Memorial Weekend, the 20th, um, the 8th, goes up until Thursday, June 1st. There won't be any meetings on Monday. Um, as we observe Memorial Day, and so make a note of that. We will give you more information as time goes on. Today, in particular, we again will be asking the convention choir to remain after worship as we will begin, as we will again have another session regarding our preparation for a convention. So convention choir, after church this morning, we will have another session. Our dear um, Bishop, Bishop Jackson, Apostle Jackson from Rockway Church of God um, will, be, will be having their annual Women in White and Men in Black service as a part of the 24 years of celebration of ministry. And that will be on the last Sunday, the last Sunday, April 30th at 4 p.m. If you're interested in going and more information, just see Deacon Spalling and it will pass that on to you. And so that is Rockway Church of God under the ministry of um, Apostle Jackson, Bishop Jackson, whichever one you prefer to, to use. Also, this week, this week, the South Florida Kenya Christian Fellowship will be resuming their in-person meeting. They have been meeting for the whole past three years on Zoom, and so they are coming back together and uh, we have made an arrangement that they'll be using our sanctuary for their meeting place. And so their first in-person meeting will be this Saturday, the 22nd, at 3 p.m. up until 5.30 p.m. And they are looking forward um, to having as much support as they possibly can. If you want to see Sister Jane in her element, if you want to see Sister Jane in her element, amongst her people, then you come on Saturday at 3 p.m. and you will see her in her element. Amen. And as we have said, it won't be in Swahili. All the expressions will be in English. Unless someone starts to speak in tongues, then we don't know what language that is. But that is still fine. Amen. And so on Saturday at 3 p.m., let us join the South Florida um, Kenya Christian Fellowship for their first going back into person meeting, and that will be at 3 p.m. Also continue, as we are saying, to um, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. Use it as much as you can during the week, and whenever you go there, just give us a thumbs up, and we will really, really appreciate that. And so we continue again just in prayerful support for all those who have suffered the, the loss of loved ones, we continue to pray. For those who are not well in body, we continue to pray. Our dear sister Denise is not here today, not feeling, not feeling too well. But um, cut me, please. But uh, she is not pregnant. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. She's not feeling too well today. And so we continue to remember her in our prayers. And does anyone else who is not well in body? Um, we will remember them in, in our prayers. <laughs> There's a brother who wants prayer. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then again, brethren, just anyone, 
Anyone who asks us to remember them in prayers, let's not forget it, but to ensure we remember them in praying. Amen? Amen and amen. <laughs> uh, just a couple more things, and then I'll hand back over to, um, to Deacon Grant. Um, are there any um, wedding anniversary celebrations this week? This week is your wedding anniversary. Oh, Sister Jane. Praise God. Amen. Stand, Sister Jane, as we, as we just say congratulations to, to Sister Jane as she'll be celebrating another year of wedding anniversary. God bless you. Congratulations to you and your husband. Tell him hello for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, birthday celebration this week. Um, do we have anyone in the house this week? I know we have two persons. Sister Needham does, has her birthday tomorrow. And Denise has her birthday on, on, um, on, on Friday. And the body is this week. Brother George? Amen. amen. Stand, George, man. Amen. Amen. George's birthday is this. And Jaden yeah, Jade and Denise is the same day, right? Yeah, man. Jaden and Denise is the same day. So, so, young man, a special birthday shout out to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, birthday celebrants, happy birthday, happy birthday in Jesus' name. Anybody else? Huh? All right, Deacon Rollin is next week. Next week, Sunday. All right, so, so let us be prepared for a wonderful celebration next week, Sunday, all right? As we celebrate with Deacon Rollin and his, um, and his family. And um, don't be surprised if Deacon Rollin does anything special, all right? <laughs> but again, sir, when it comes, happy birthday in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I think these are the announcements as I have them for now. Anything else that I need to pass on, I'll pass on to you later. But again, let us now make welcome again one of our more handsome gentlemen, Deacon Grant, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. <laughs> 